the title of my sermon, if that's what you really mm -hmm. call them, is The Right Turns. Found in the book of Proverbs. Amen. Now, I'm a little country girl from the hills of Kentucky that loves the Lord Jesus Christ. And I love serving him. Mm -hmm. I've been serving in the Kentucky Jail Ministry now for 16 years. I have seen some wonderful things take place. I've seen the enemy fight to no end. But the good outweighs the bad every time. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Now, you may be raised a little different than I am, but I was raised in a little Baptist church, but I became Pentecostal. And I had told, uh, but I said, uh, that's just a name. I said, if you uh, name me as anything, name me as a child of God. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. But as I was praying this week and I thought about what Sister Lisa had asked me, and I'm going to the book of Proverbs in chapter four. Now, if I get a little happy, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Because that's I love right, to feel right. the blessings of God. And the Bible teaches me, he said, where the spirit of the Lord is, he said, there is liberty. Amen. Amen. And I thought about him in Proverbs chapter 4, beginning with verse 25. He said, let your eyes look straight ahead, and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet, and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or the left, or remove your foot from evil. And I thought about it so many times as we are growing old, and I want to ask you this. How many times have you been going down the highway, and that you feel like that you get lost? Yeah. I've made mm. the wrong turn. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a scary feeling, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But at the end of our lives, we all come to the book and talk about our bend exercise of our God-given God -given free will and freedom of choice. Can you say amen? amen? Amen. In free will, we have the power to draw the map of what would be the kind of world that we live in. Amen. And let me tell you something, honey. We're living in perilous times. Yes. The Bible teaches men. Yep. He said, where men will be lovers of themselves more than lovers of God, having the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. He said, they'll praise me with this, but he said, my, their heart's going to be far from me. Amen. Amen. I want my heart, honey, right with God at all times. Amen. Amen. Because as Sister yeah. Lisa was yes. saying, we're yes. in this fight yes. together. We're yes. all striving, honey, to make heaven our home. Can you say amen? Yes. Amen. But I thought about how times we live in, and just as the interstate highway has different exits. Again, that lead that can lead you to different towns and locations. So our different choices and decisions take us to different destinations from the highway of life. Yeah. Is that not right? Yeah. Most of us choose the roads that are so familiar to us. Yeah. The roads and ways and shortcuts that we have learned from our parents. Yeah. We do as we know to do yes. and that is a tragedy unto us Amen. because Amen. when we only do as we know how to do it we miss the chance of doing it better forced by the hand of ignorance can you say amen, amen. 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 all of them your decisions and your choices lead you step by step to the place that you are standing right now amen come on now yes. amen that's right yes. The only way out is to trace back on your own and do your tracks over. The Bible says to search for the old path, he said, when we find it, to walk therein. Amen. He says, straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leads unto righteousness. But he said, broad is the way that leads to destruction. Amen. Sometimes we go in the opposite direction. The highway you were made, the, where you made the wrong turn and stay on it until you come to a better exit. There is a place in this world called despair. Yes. The exit of drugs yeah. is just one of the roads that will lead you there. Yep. Yep. Despair is not just a town, but it's a metropolis, a huge city designated to accommodate all the people that take the wrong exit. Yes. Yeah. Is that not true? Yes. Yeah. Many exits lead to it. That has been designed, and it is very easy to drive and chew it by going along with the flow of the traffic. Yeah. How many times do we get about a, a behind a vehicle? We think, oh, they're going in the right direction. Let me get behind them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Um, I saw on a bumper be. sticker one time it says, follow me because I'm on my way to glory. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's a good one. Soon you come to realize that the best and easiest way out is to never to attempt to go there in the first place. Right. Yeah. Amen. By then it's usually too late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do we do? How do we avoid these wrong turns? Where do you, do you get the direction and the instructions? Mm -hmm. But we need to avoid those wrong exits. Yes. The Bible teaches me that the devil is out to kill, destroy, and to kill. He's an accuser of the brethren. Yes. He's a manipulator. He's a liar and the father of all lies. Something sometimes that we will seek, and uh, we hear this thing now, says that we will make out, recalculate, and provide an immediate alternative route to keep us from going further into the error of our choice of turn and guide us back to the main highway. <coughs> But we have to keep our eyes fixed on what is before us. If we were going to stay on that path of righteousness, we have to keep our eyes on Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm feeling the blessings of God. I always like, come said, on, sister. Always say, without the anointing, I might as well take my seat because that's it's right. the anointing that's going to break the yoke. That's Amen. Right. That's right. That's right. Amen. And when I speak to yes. you tonight, that's the same way that I speak to the girls in the Kent County you. Detention yep. Center. Yep. You have to know, amen. The amen. Bible also teaches me, he said, to know those, he said, that labor among you. Because, honey, that one that says that you're, they're your best friend is going to lead you down in the wrong direction, amen. amen. All the time they say, come on, it'll be all right. Yeah. But what are they doing? They got a knife in your back, amen, honey. Yeah. What to deceive you and discourage yeah. you yes. and take you in that wrong direction? Yeah. Can you say, yes. amen. amen? There's a thing called today a GPS. <laughs> Come on, sister. Yeah. You know what it stands for? Yes, I wish my car had one, yeah. God provides security yeah. and safety. Can you say it? Yeah. 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 Amen. This device was implanted on us at birth. Amen. Yep. It lays dormant in us and is awakened or turned on by the jolt of the Holy Spirit of God. Faith is the power source. Amen. Yes. Once it is turned on, it will never cease to function. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because its purpose is to guide you home from wherever it is Amen. that starts it to function in the first place. Amen. Mm -hmm. So how do you get there? Oh, hallelujah to the <laughs> Lamb of God. Amen. I'm beginning to shake all over my body. Amen. That's Amen. okay. What did Fire David do? Though? What did David do? Under the power of God, he said the Bible teaches me that he danced before the Lord right. with yes, all of did. his might. Amen. Yes, he did. Yeah. Honey, this world didn't give to me what I've got today. Honey, and the world can't take it away from me. That's Amen. right. That's right. <laughs> but how do we get back on the right track? He will open new roads for you. Amen. It will show you the bridges and the dead ends and the swamps that led you to despair and keep you from making the wrong turns. Amen. By warning you before you even get, get there. there. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. That GPS is the word of God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Infallible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Proven and perfect in every yes. way imagined to us. Yes. It needs no yeah. updates nor revisions. <laughs> it contains the will of God to reach us during our time and only time of our journey. Yes. That we can and we are alive mm -hmm. as he breathes the breath of life in us. Amen. Yes. Mm. Jesus, I praise you. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> was I on the wrong path at one time? You better believe I was. Yeah. Yeah. I always felt like that I wasn't a bad person. I didn't do this or I didn't do that. Yeah. But I was still a sinner that needed the mercies and yes. the grace of God. Amen. He knew me in my mother's womb just like he knows everyone in you. Amen. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was sharing with Lisa and Chuck Sonny as I come out of the jail. 
My spiritual mother told me one time I was standing in front of the church. She come over and she laid her hand on me and she said, Sister June, I see you standing on the front line of the battlefield. And she said, with a sword in your hand. I didn't know what that meant back then. But see, God was preparing me for such a time as this to go Amen. into the Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. And I had to walk in that path. Did I go through some things to get there? You better believe I did because yeah. I didn't want to obey him. Right. He'd already laid the path for me. All I had to do was to walk in it. Amen. If that GPS is not turned on while we are living, it will be used as a black box when we are dead. Yeah. Hmm. Stop and think about it. Yeah. yeah. Because the word will accomplish its mission and return it to him that sent it. Yeah. Yep. Jesus came. To turn on your black box into a GPS. Amen. God <laughs> provides security, Sister Grace. What a great analogy. Hallelujah. Beautiful, Miss June. Thank you, darling. Mm. I appreciate you, Sister Grace. I, I love you, Sister Miss June. I do, me too, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Amen. There is no neutral ground in Jesus and no justi justification outside of him. <laughs> Free will does not give the option of a place where there is not choosing. But it is also a choice against him. Turn on your GPS and then he'll lead you back home. Amen. 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 I was sharing with the girls Sunday. There's so many times that the enemy, a lot of times I don't like to use my paper. I just want the anointing of God. Amen. I want mm -hmm. him to give me the words to say. Amen. But sometimes girls know who your <coughs> friends are. Amen. 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 Well, the Bible teaches, he said, the devil's going to come in sheep's clothing, but he's going to be a raving wolf. Riding his horse. Yes. yes. To get you on the wrong path. Yes. Yep. Yes. I'm glad he planted my feet um, on yes. the path of righteousness. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Uh, did I ever dream that I would be in King County Detention Center ministering the gospel? No. But God knew the plans he had for me. Yes. Is your GPS turned on today? Amen. What path are you following? I've had some young girls in the Kent County Detention Center. I'll tell you of one in particular. She came in there where I was at, service. She'd come to service. But the Bible says that our spirit will bear witness with one another yes. and that we'll Amen. know by the fruits they bear what path that they are on or what yes. path that they're taking. Yeah. She'd stare me right in the face, get right in my face and stare at me and laugh. Go ahead. I'm not afraid of you, Satan. Amen. It's not that she, I was fighting against. The Bible says we fight not against flesh and blood. blood. That's right. Yes. Yeah. But the principality of darkness. Yes. Yeah. She'd stare me right in the face. Told her I said I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. I said, devil, I see you. And I see what you're trying to do. For three weeks, she stayed out of service. Lisa was talking about coming together yeah. and loving one another. And every week I'd ask about her. Or I'd see her standing, she'd kind of turn her head and I'd say, Yeah, she wouldn't do it. About the third week, she'd come into the service. And she said, I love you, Miss Jim. Amen. <laughs> Won't God do it? Won't God do it? Yes, the word will accomplish what it is set out mm -hmm. to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. and so many times I have felt so intimidated. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Me too. <laughs> yeah. So many times I feel like that I was so unworthy. Well, that one can do better than I can. She can speak better than mm -hmm. I can. You speak eloquent. God knows, don't he? That's right. That's yes, right. Does. I don't have to speak like everybody else. Mm -hmm. That's right. I want the Holy Ghost to speak through me. That's, That's right. right. 
Amen. Amen. It's the only and one. And I love you. Amen. And I appreciate each and every one of you. We love you too. Not only here, not only in the jail ministry, but out there as well. Mm -hmm. And the way you see me in there and the way you see me here is the way you're going to see me out there. Yeah. You can come against me all that you want. But the weapons of my warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God, through the pulling down of the strong. Amen. Yes. And let me tell you something else. Get off track a little bit. Sometimes your family is your worst enemy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tell me about it. Yeah. I'm speaking to somebody here tonight. Mm -hmm. You are. Yes. More than one. Oh, yeah, more than one. Yes. More than one. They say, I love you. Well, you can tell me all day that you love me, honey, but till you put some actions behind those words, those words don't mean a thing to me. Because yeah. if you love me, it's going to show. Yep. Yeah. I'm not going to go into it, but God knows. Yes. Well, I have struggled with for the past two or three months. As I had a long yes. talk with Lisa and Brother Chuck, Sunday. Mm -hmm. We need to be open with one another. Yes. Yep. We need to share whatever's on our hearts. Yes. We don't need to put somebody down for what they've done, mm -hmm. yep. but encourage them to take mm -hmm. the right turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. Amen. 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 Ladies, I believe, honey, that he is soon to come. Yes. And we better get ready. Yes. We better stand and we better stand firm mm -hmm. on the word of God. Because when all else fails, his word will not. Yes. Last forever. Yes. Do you think you're holier than thou? You holy roller. <laughs> well, I'd rather roll into heaven is to walk in heaven. Mm -hmm. Is that not right? That's Amen. Right. That's, That's right. That's good. That's good. It's yeah. true. Yeah. I'll roll into heaven. Yeah. If that's what it takes, I'll roll in there. That's good. <laughs> yeah, because they, they say that a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. They do. Yeah. Yeah, they do. You think you're better than everybody else? Yeah. No. They do. I'm told I've got the big head. <laughs> oh. No, Sissy, I'll say, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> the Lord Jesus Christ, I yeah. do. Yeah. Mm hmm. Is that not right? That's yes. right. Boast in the Lord. Amen. He's a God of love and He's a God of mercy and He's a God of understanding. Yes. It's a good thing because He has to deal with me. And, and me, me and all money. of us. Mm -hmm. I made some mistakes I'm not proud of. <laughs> not me. Y'all are messes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't strike me down. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> but ladies, whatever comes against you, know that God said He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Thank God. He'll go with you even to the ends of the earth. That's right. Um, yes. I don't feel that I'm a big time preacher. You. I have preached a few funerals, <clears throat> performed a wedding ceremony, spoken to church, but that is totally different than ministering to the King County Detention Center girls. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Totally different. Yes. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Yes. Amen. Amen. Well. Amen. Freedom. Yes. Yes, Are you free today? The I'm, an, free yes. I'm an emotional person. I can't help you it. Do. Because God has put a compassion in my mm -hmm. heart for those that are lost. Amen. And ladies, open your eyes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And see those ones that's going down that wrong yes. path. And do everything you can to stop it. Amen. Be a light to them. Yeah. Yes. Let them see Jesus Christ in you. Amen. That's who they need to see. <laughs> we all do. Yes. Lord, help me to lay this flesh aside. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me be your servant, O oh Lord. Let me be pleasing unto you, God. Yes. I've got family that's lost. Yes. 
We I've got one that yeah. my heart almost got sick the other day when I heard yeah. Yeah. what they say. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> that mindset sometimes. Yeah. They don't have the thing, their mind on the things that's yet to come. Yeah. Yeah. They have their mind on the things and what the world can give them. Yep. The here and now. Right. Yeah, what's in front of them. Yeah. yeah. Know what it. are we doing? God has called each and every one of you for a purpose. Amen. Amen. But it's up to you yeah. to choose that purpose. That's right. And to walk in that path. The girls are jealous sometimes. They'll say, Miss Judy. Now, some people may be different from me from this. They'll say, it's a disease. I said, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, I get that a lot. Mm -hmm. It's our choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's their choice. Yeah. Yeah. What did Joshua say? He said, for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Um. What are you saying to your family? What are you saying to your friends that you love so dearly? Everything, yeah. I tell my son this past week, time is short. Yes. We better be about yes. the Father's business. Yes. And I can just visualize, yes. I don't think that Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father. Mm -hmm. I think he's uh, standing in attention, mm -hmm. waiting for his heavenly Father to say, go get my children and bring them home. Yep. Yeah. Go get my bride. Yes. Go get my bride. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I asked the girl's son, his sister Lisa, and sister Shelly was in there with me. I said, if you was to die right now, would mm. heaven be your home? <clears throat> Amen. Yeah. They all said yes, and I prayed that all their hearts was right. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. I'm going to say this. A lot of times they'll tell you that everything's all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in your heart, you know different. Because yeah. the Bible says, again, yeah. our spirit will bear witness with one another. Right. Right. The Lord will show you. Yeah. Our spirit will move from breast to breast, the Bible teaches me. Have you witnessed today? Have you told somebody about Jesus today? Have you told them like how God brought you off of that old path and you found that new path and you're walking in it? Ladies, I do desire your prayers. I'm praying that God will open another door for me. I don't know where that may be. I've been praying about going to Pee Wee Valley. Amen. That's where the Lord takes me and I'm going to go. Amen. There's many facilities down there. I know there's probably other preachers, but when God tells us to do something, we need to do it. Yeah. Right, right. He'll show me the path to take. Yep. That right path. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Where's Pee Wee Valley? It's down in Kentucky somewhere. Is that down close? Is it close to Louisville? LaGrange. LaGrange. Oh, wow. I know it's somewhere down in there. A prison, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Women's prison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I'm going to share this. I think I shared with the, the girls Sunday. It was a few years ago that uh, I went to the Kenton County Detention Center. I used to go twice twice a week. I'm praying about that again. I used to go on a Wednesday and I used to go on a Sunday. But when God opens a door, he'll open it for us. Amen. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. He'll open a door that no man can close. <laughs> yep. Yep. But I remember going in there one Wednesday afternoon. My daughter, yeah, no, my daughter wasn't with me that day. I went into dorm 107. And years ago, I used to be able to minister to all of the dorm. They wouldn't put me in a little room. They let me preach mm -hmm. out in the open. Mm -hmm. There'd be between 70 and sometimes 100 girls in there. Sometimes mm -hmm. 40, sometimes 80. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. But I was in there this one afternoon, and these uh, ladies, they had transported them up from Boyd County, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. There was probably about 30 girls, mm -hmm. between 27 and 30. They had them in the holding cell. And I told one of the CEOs, I said, I'd love to minister to them. Mm -hmm. Just so happened, I'll tell you how God works. When he'll make a path straight, amen. 
because the CO had took him out to the recreation room of the dorm that I was in. I'd already talked to my girls, and I call them my girls because I feel that God gave them to me. They may not be biologically mine, but they're mine. Yeah. And I love them, and I hug them. Mm -hmm. But anyway, these girls, they had, it was time for them to go back. CO was standing there, and I had the door already open to the room. I said, come on, have church. Come, let me talk to you for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. They kind of looked at one another, and CO looks at them and says, why don't y'all go in there? Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Two or three had come, and finally I went, come on, girls. Just as humble as I can be. And every one of them came in that room. Praise God. Praise God. And I began to minister to them and gave them my testimony. Every girl in there was crying mm -hmm. to give God all the glory. That's right. I love it. They looked at me before they left the room, said, you have the girls in the pink out here, mm -hmm. but now you have the girls in orange from Boyd County, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. I was told I'd be a mother to so many. Mm -hmm. And I feel that I have been. God has let me take them under my wing. And that's what a mother will do, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 16 a years. That's a lot. A grandmother or whoever. We take them under our wings just like he takes us under our his. Well, you think some of the girls, some of these girls may not have had a lot of mother. No, they haven't. Yeah. They haven't. And you've been their mother? Mm -hmm. Really? And I have. I feel that with all of my heart. One girl looked at my daughter one day and she said, I would love to have a mother like yours. My daughter looked at her and said, I'll share her with you. Mm -hmm. I wish I, I had that like you. I know. Oh, mm -hmm. I remember I one thing, I'm nothing without the Lord no, Jesus Christ. That. Yeah. But if I had a mother like you, my life would have been like it. Make me cry, Grace. It's okay. You're okay. It's okay. <laughs> what we're here for mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong about getting emotional mm -hmm. and all I've got left is my sister and, she, and I pray for her because she's so but she's such a know-it-all and you can't do this and you can't every 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 contemporary song is evil every good she's so she I pray for her but I get this all the time, and, and I, I, can't, I can't cut off communication with her. She's my only sister, my only family. I'm going to leave you with this. But ladies, any time that you want prayer, I love praying for people. Love them seeing them delivered. But it says as many of us so busy sometimes that we never take time to consider where we are going or why. Yet we humans are the only creatures that God created with the capacity for self-reflection. We can think about ourselves, evaluate ourselves, and make changes in light of what we see. Proverbs encourages us to stay on the path of wisdom, to be careful not to stray to the right nor to the left. Is that the case for you? Use the question below to mark your trail along the journey of faith. Take a look at your attitude and behaviors and use the path that God has laid before you. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Glory to the Lamb of God. Thank amen. you, ladies.